I'm Eric Hayden with the National Weather Service in Moorhead City, North Carolina. This is our basic Skywarn class for 2018. This is the first time we've done our basic spring class on YouTube. So hope you, hopefully you enjoy it. Our, all our contact information is down below. This is the first of seven parts for the training. Should take about an hour. We did break it into different parts so you can kind of come back to it if needed. Once you complete all seven parts, just shoot me an email. We'll make sure you get a course certificate. I mentioned this is new for us. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, something you really like or something you'd like to see, send us an email. We certainly welcome that feedback. These are some of the topics we'll be going over uh, through the seven parts of the course. Again, roughly an hour in length. The beginning courses focus on who the weather service is, uh, Skywarn, why do we need spotters, and we talk about the life cycle of a thunderstorm. The middle part of the course, we talk about the specific types of thunderstorms and what they can produce. Tornadoes, high winds, hail, uh, things such as bow echoes and derechos, we'll talk about those. And throughout the, the different types of thunderstorms, we'll focus on how to report severe weather to us and how you can do that, not only how to do it, but what things of uh, spotting we're looking for in terms of reports. Some things we do want you to keep in mind, a lot of science here, uh, and we're going to try to break it into bits of pieces, and because we want you to really focus on more uh, to report to us when you have severe weather, and then what to report, how to report, and when. So if you understand the science, great. But our main focus with this more is, hey, when you get hail, you have high winds, uh, you see a funnel cloud or tornado, you let us know about that information. At the bottom, we say ask questions. Since this is an online format, uh, you can do that via email. Just shoot me an email anytime if any of this does not make sense. A little bit about the Weather Service. We fall under the Department of Commerce and NOAA, federally funded agency with the mission of being protection of life and property. So we issue those types of products to alert the public to severe weather, uh, floods, and uh, things such as blizzards and ice storms. Uh, we mentioned we're a federal agency, just about under 5,000 meteorologists in the country. So the largest uh, group in terms of meteorologists uh, for employment. A lot of offices, this is a map of the United States uh, showing the various offices that we have. Uh, we total over 100. One of the main reasons we have so many local offices is we live in your community. Uh, we know the, the terrain, the topography, uh, interaction with the ocean because we live in that community. I can step outside and see when I got the forecast wrong or right and I can learn from it versus say if I lived up in Maine or uh, in Arizona and I was trying to forecast for coastal North Carolina. So by living in the area, we have a much more intimate knowledge of the forecasting and that really helps us improve our forecasting in terms of getting it right uh, more routinely. This is our local office. Uh, picture on the upper left is the front door and, and behind it you can see the Doppler radar. That's that dome or that uh, soccer ball looking thing on a tower. A little bit better perspective on it. The picture in the upper right you can see it on a tower. <clears throat> and that shows us precipitation but we can also measure uh, things such as wind, um, rainfall, and, and things like that. <clears throat> Another neat thing about this uh, picture on the left of the one in the upper right is our uh, upper air building. That dome-shaped building is where we launch weather balloons. Now we do this twice a day, not only here in Moorhead City, but all over the country and the world, 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. in the spring and summer. And this balloon, as it goes up into the sky, measures things like temperature, humidity, wind speed and pressure and sends it back to us. And we need this information, much like we need forecast information on the ground of what is happening. If we know what's happening all above us, we can have a much more accurate prediction into the future. Uh, I really need to know what is happening where I live on the ground and above me before I'm going to make any type of prediction down the road. <clears throat> this weather balloon itself uh, takes about an hour and a half uh, to complete its launch uh, from the time we release it up into the sky, about 110,000 feet. Uh, and then uh, it'll pop uh, and come back down to the ground. So very useful information. Again, we do it all over the country and the world. And we do this twice a day routinely. But if there's a hurricane, an ice storm, severe weather event, 
we will uh, do it up to four times a day uh, to increase that data coming into our computer models. So certainly very important. The map on the lower right is our coverage area. Uh, the area in yellow is where we issue forecast and warnings. Uh, and that's out to 20 nautical miles. So that includes the Albemarle and Pamlico sounds, as well as 12, 20 miles out into the ocean. It's a roughly two to three hour radius around our office. Uh, so folks over toward Greenville, Kinston, and Jacksonville are on our western edge. And you'll notice down toward Wilmington or the central part of the state, Raleigh and northeast North Carolina is not highlighted on this map. That's because it's covered by our sister offices up in Wakefield or Richmond, Virginia, covers northeast North Carolina. The central part of the state is covered by Raleigh and the Wilmington office covers southeast North Carolina. This training is for the Moorhead City area, but just shoot me an email when you're done your training, no matter where you live in the country, I can hook you up with your local office uh, to make sure you become a spotter for their database. A little bit about Skywarn, it's a volunteer program run by the Weather Service and the main goal is to provide ground truth of significant weather to us. And what we mean by ground truth is what is exactly happening on the ground. Our Doppler radar shows us hail, winds, uh, heavy rain up in the sky and based on our knowledge of the atmosphere we can surmise what is making it down to the ground but we don't know 100%, and that's where the spotters come in and fill in the gaps in terms of ground truth. The Doppler radar may show us a large hailstone, but it could be 95 degrees out, middle of the summer, and we know that hailstone is going to melt on the way down, but we're not sure how much is melting. And that's where spotters can really confirm what is happening locally where you live. These reports really assist us in our decision process. Uh, you really help us gauge how severe a storm is. A couple of examples could be, uh, let's say I'm watching a, a thunderstorm, getting ready to issue a severe thunderstorm warning for it, and I get a lot of reports of smaller hail, much smaller than I think uh, for a warning. And in that case, I don't issue a warning based on those reports. That's good information because I'm not crying wolf. I'm not issuing a warning when it doesn't need to be issued. Another example could be, uh, let's say st the storm moves over a populated area. A lot of spotters are calling us and saying we're having nickel sized hail, which we'll teach you is just below the threshold for severe weather. Now that storm moves into a more rural area and it looks a lot worse on radar. I don't have any reports, but based on the ones I already got, I know it's at least doing nickel sized hail. And now that it's stronger on radar, I can surmise the hail is larger and we need to issue a warning. So that's where you help us gauge how bad a storm is. And this is life-saving information because it provides credibility to our warnings. We issue them when they, they're needed and we don't when they're not needed. Uh, certainly information to make uh, people take it much more serious.